Okay, so we have our fields. We should also go through and make a property for each of these and determine whether we can read them and whether we can change them. And of course, we can always override in our other, um, in our other classes that we do that we build off of them. Okay, so one of the things we're going to do is I'm going to show you a pattern for one, and we're going to go ahead and start with strength. Uh, we'll start with name. Now we're going to create a property. So the properties you should make public or protected, one of the two. Okay. So uh, and then you capitalize the letter so we know this is a property. It is not a method. There are no parentheses after it. Uh, but we do put curly brackets here. Oh, public. I should use the data type. I forgot about that. That's why this thing was off. Okay. Now that I have my data type, so don't forget public string and then the property get we want to be able to read that and so we're gonna when we try to print out the name we're gonna return underscore name and then the question is can we change our name or not that's up to you so we could do for example set um, and then it would be underscore name equals value oops little v and so it's up to you. If you don't want them to be able to change your name once they have it, then you could just remove this from it. Okay. But because we made this public, the get and set methods will both be public. Okay. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do the gender. Entity gender. Gender with a capital G. Now in this one, we are going to make it so we can get it. But um, in my particular version of the game, I'm not going to let you change it at that point. That could make for an interesting game if you make that available. So I'm going to leave out the set altogether. I'm going to give you one more variation of a property, and that's going to be for all of these values here: strength, dexterity, wisdom, health. We are not going to use the mod We're not going to have a property for the modifiers, and we're actually going to use the modifiers when we create our properties though. And that will be kind of fun. Public int. I think the first one is strength with a capital S. I'm going to make it get. So we're going to return underscore strength. Now on our set, we're going to make this protected. So only these classes will allow us to change it. Protected set. And that will be strength equals value. So this is different from our other two. The first one, string, is both public read and write, which means anywhere in our project we can change the name, we can access the name. The gender, we can only read the name because it only has a get um, version of our property. And strength, we can always read our strength, but only members of the class can do anything about changing the strength. Okay, So there's our entity. Now, the rest of the properties for the other ones that we have here, dexterity, wisdom, and health, we are going to code those um, into uh, properties, but they will follow this general pattern, except for one thing we're going to do. We're going to add our modifier to the strength. Plus, so we're going to add strength modifier. So we're not just going to return the strength. We're going to return it plus any kind of addition that we'll have. And this will be our pattern for our remaining um, properties. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these, copy this, paste it, and then change it for the next one. And you can do the same thing. So what was our next property is dexterity. So I like the idea of just copy and paste. And then I'm even going to copy the word dexterity. Control C to copy and where I see strength, paste it in. So now it's dexterity, dexterity modifier, like so. So you may want to do that for the rest of your properties. Now you don't need to see me typing, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I finish doing the rest. Okay, so one of the things I want to show is that um, I went back through, I coded it all in, and I tried another little thing, one way of displaying to these different fields. 
you could do it this way. And there's something about having each one on its own line that helps. And so I was trying to save some time, but with a good copy and paste, watch what you can do. I can copy right before, I, I wanna copy this semicolon because it's gonna end with a semicolon and go all the, way, all the way to here. And I'm just gonna copy that piece of code. And then I'm gonna highlight there, press paste. So I'm including the comma and I'm going through and basically doing that on each one. So when we're done, we end up with all our lines a little bit more uniform in the way in which they look. So, and that was just a copy and paste. So, hey, maybe that's what you want to do or just copy this protected int and paste it a bunch of times. Um, the other thing is if you go down here, like I said, we can collapse this region. And in our properties, we can collapse each one, but we have a property for each of those um, fields that we have. Now there's other fields I did not include. And if you wanna take a look at some other ideas, um, what, what we didn't go over is in the tutorial I mentioned, they have some other things here. They have this thing called attribute pairs where you're, um, I think they're pairing it where they have a certain value and then a maximum value, and they're pairing it into one data type. And so they did it for health, stamina, and mana, and that's not a bad idea. They put it in its own region as well, so you can look at this, and if you want to, code it in. Um, so then they put, made public properties for each of those, and then they added one more little feature, which is not a bad idea, and that's having a, a, a value for attack, damage, and defense. Um, and so I do recommend that you think in terms of that um, if you're gonna develop this further. Also, if you wanna have fields and properties for levels, you can have a level and experience. You can work that into the game. That's a good idea. Um, and then we're gonna focus on creating our constructors. And so we're gonna, um, in this case, they use something different, entity data. I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but one of the things here is when we construct an object, we can set this for the first time by setting everything and initializing them to zero in our constructor. So since, um, as far as time-wise, I had to break this into two tutorials anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and expand the constructor region and put that in there. Um, so we're gonna make it a public constructor. We get to start with public, we write the name of the class, open and close parentheses. This is gonna be a default constructor and it's gonna set each of the values to, to an initial value. In the sample code I was looking at, they just use these uh, strength, dexterity, and wisdom. And so we're gonna go ahead and set those. And we're gonna set them all to zero. Well, interesting choice on the tutorial they did. I did the um, actual fields on the tutorial I was looking at, they did it as properties. It really doesn't matter because we have access to these fields in our class here. But I'm gonna go ahead and put them as properties because we're gonna expand this class. And so I need to go up a little bit. So we're gonna use strength, dexterity, equals zero. And go ahead and walk through each of these. Wisdom equals zero, excuse me go down a line and health equals zero. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at this. This is gonna be our base class and in the next round of the tutorial, we're gonna extend this class and create, um, using the entity, each of the different types of classes that we have.